everyone, and welcome to Feather Adventures with me, Squishy! And in today's video, we are going to be working on our Piggy Paradise once again, and we're going to be making some really cool things in there. If you don't know what the Piggy Paradise is, you will see in just a second. And hello, dogs! How are you today, people? Why are you facing the wall? You're okay now, but what Nibbles is like keeping everyone in order at the moment, you see? And um, yep, I am going to be tilting my dogs, and then I'm going to be saying it as quickly as possible, because I know that some of you guys actually say this with me. So here we go. Let's try and do this really quick. And tilt! And tilt! And tilt! Right, a deep breath. Okay, here we go. And think of what I think of what I think of. I messed up. Never mind. Sorry, dogs. Bye. That was that was just terrible. That was terrible. I kind of just said a bunch of words. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go to the feather birds one and see who we are adding today. And look, there's a there's a squid that wants to be on the land, but um, you don't belong there. Oh, there's two. Oh, okay, guys, guys, you're sea creatures. Okay, you're sea. You stay in the sea. Let me just help you out because otherwise you're gonna get caught in the wall and then you're gonna die. There we go. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Right, let's go to the feather birds one and see who we are adding today. And today, I am going to be adding, walking really slowly, Chantel Ritchie. And that is because she left me a comment um, on one of my Feather Adventures videos saying, Too Squashy, some flowers are yellow. Squashy is too. She has five dogs. What about you? She is so funny. She is so sweet. She likes to eat pumpkin pie. It's her favorite treat. Every day is sunny, every every day is fun, especially when you're with Squishy. She loves everyone. I really like the poem. Thank you, Chantel, and welcome to the Feather Friends Fun. You can have a swim in here anytime you like. And uh, yeah, I love poems. I think they're so, so sweet. Um, and you obviously put a lot of thought into that. Thank you, Chantel. Um, yeah, so let's go to the things for today, Jess, and get what we need today. Today, we need a lot of beach based things not like not like the wood kind of beach wood this kind of thing like sand and we have, have some cauldrons as well and some water and i'll show you why once we get over to the piggy paradise and uh, yeah as i said before if you haven't um seen the previous episodes then i will tell you what the piggy paradise is and this really annoys me enderman is so so annoying there's one there as well the most frustrating thing ever, you know, it's just, it's just not fair. It's just not, why do they take the blocks? Um, anyway, over here is the piggy paradise. And this is where all the pigs in my world are going to live, apart from the ones that are going to live in my barn, which will be my pets. Um, so as you can see here in the last episode, we did a ginormous mud pile in the middle of the world. And then we did um, the crunchy coward pub, the crunchy coward, the crunch, crunch, I can't say, the crunchy carrot pub and it has a few carrots in the chest there um but today we are going to be making the piggy paradise beach and um also because i have the cauldrons we're going to be making num num food troughs and i can't wait to do this so let's just get go um right ahead and start making this beach then i was thinking if i just dig out this area um, because I don't really want to overlap it with the Curly Tailors, which I love that name, by the way. It's so, so funny. Um, yeah, let's just go over here. And, um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing the water on this side. I'm just going to destroy that sign a second. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of doing it on this side. And, um, if I just go down here as well. Right, Curly Tailors, you're going to have to go over here, I think. If I just go and move this sign, just one space. Why couldn't I pick that up then? That was so frustrating. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the Curly uh tailors there we go and uh, yeah this is going to be the beach and it's quite pretty funny actually because there's already sand like underneath it and i don't want the sand there um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and move the sand over to this area. And this is where the beach is going to be. Um, and because it's like I want it mostly to be beach, because pigs don't really like water that much, unless it's covered in mud, obviously. Um, but yeah, I need to actually, you know, I need to make um, an unlimited water source. So I'm just going to go here. And hopefully that made one there. There we go. So I did it. I did it. I actually did it. Um, so let's just go and steady that water out. I think they fixed the water somehow. I don't know how, but like the water seems to be so much better than it was before. Like it just goes still straight away. That's going to annoy me. There's like a little bit of dirt there. But never mind. It's okay. And um, we can just ignore that for now. So this is the beach so far. But we need some cool things happening on this beach right now. So I'm going to go um, into this chest over here. Because all of my materials are in this chest basically. And and I'm thinking for like a deck chair, we should use birch wood. Um, I was going to put like a, a bookshelf there as well and some hay bales and stuff. I think this will look cool. I'm just grabbing a load of materials anyway. 
And uh, what I want to do is just make a few chairs. There we go. And um, if I make some half slabs, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to use these because I don't know if the beach is too small to make them like a bit more extended. But if I just do one there um, and just do two like that. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And uh, what I want to do now is actually I might use uh, that won't go for money, will it? That's fine. Um, yeah, if we just go up here now and put like a little parasol on it. Um, there we go. So a parasol is pretty much an umbrella um, just so they can keep in the shade while they're, they're getting getting a suntan and look at that that is the cutest beach ever and I'm gonna put a few torches around here can I not put a torch there uh, maybe if I do one here and one here then I can stand the torches up on these little pillars um yep yeah, like that there we go and I want to put a bookshelf down as well because while you're at the beach, some people like to read, I guess. So actually, what I might do is if I push these ones back, um, I can put a bookshelf here, and then I can put one on the other side too. Um, and then what I can do is just place down one cobblestone wall here and one here, and then place the torches on. There we go. So this is the, the Piggy Paradise Beach. And I wanted to make like um, a bit more of a wave, I think. I think a wave system would look really cool. So what I might do is just put a bit of water. Can I put them on fences? Uh, if I go one there... One there, maybe. No. Oh, wait, I can. I can. That's fine. Okay, right. If I just go like that, I think that looks pretty nice. Um, and I might put one in the middle as well. There we go. See, now the pigs can have, like, a little bit of a swim. And they won't get stuck either, which is uh, the most important thing, I guess, is that they won't get stuck in the in the corners and stuff. So look at that. That is pretty cool. I'm really, really happy with that. Right. I'm going to take a bit of a nibble of pumpkin pie because we did that really, really well. And over here is where we're going to be making the num num food troughs. And I don't know if I've spelled troughs right, but it's okay. Um, and what we need for this is I need to make a crafting table. Um, I might as well make two so I can put one either side um, just so it looks cool, I guess. So I'm going to put one crafting table right here. And then I'm going to go along here and place another one down. I might do one here as well and then extend out this pathway a little bit. So if I just go and grab my shovel, if I go like this, I think that would look cool if I just go and place down some stone bricks do i have any stone bricks please say i have some stone bricks in this chest let's have a look and i'm gonna grab some of this spruce as well i might as well grab a few more materials and uh yep i do definitely have some stone bricks this is when i just pick up too many materials and then i'm like i have too many materials on me and then i start complaining um and oh no i need some cobblestone as well do i have any nope okay back to the chest we go i seem to just be going back and forth a lot recently um let's go and grab some cobblestone there we go um, so if I just go and swap that over over here, and then I can just finish off this pathway, just so it's easier to get to the food trough that's going to be placed here. And uh, what I want to do, I don't want to place it on the grass, because that's just so uncivilized. I want to go and remove all of this grass here, and uh, fill this in with, I like glowstone here. If I just go and put like um, a few little pieces down like that, there we go. Um, and then in the middle of that, I might put some hay bales, because it is like a food trough after all. So if I just go and line them up, over there like that um i think that looks pretty nice so what i want to do now actually is i want to go and place down like item frames of which food is in each um trough that i'm going to place down soon so what i want to do is if i grab hmm, what material do i have a lot of I have a lot of spruce wood i'm going to use the spruce wood for now because if i go like this just along the back um, and then place down some more this way this is where the food troughs are going to be right here and then on this part here i'm going to have like little item frames just going along the top so if i just go and place a few down just like this and obviously the only thing that pigs eat are carrots so that's what i need to go and grab out of this chest here i only have 10 left but luckily we have a few growing down here for the for the little um crunchy carrot pub so if i just go and place all of these down in this item frame and um, like that i want to spin a few around actually because i really like spinning them around um and yeah these cauldrons are gonna be the food troughs and what i need to do is make a few more so if i just go and um put five in here i don't know how many this is gonna make actually i don't know if i've got enough iron um but we will see um if i don't it's okay it's not too bad and um, there we go i can make one more there so that makes me four one two three four that is typical absolutely typical i've run out of materials but it's okay and um, what i want to do actually is some of these I want to fill up with water so I might do these to the end ones um, but what I need to do is actually get a bucket of water first but I might just go and uh, fill up all of these in um, using this thingy here um, and then what I might do is if I just destroy one of these ones uh, like this and um, I'll pick that up and then I can move it to one next to it just like that because pigs need water too they need water too so if I go and fill up one here um, and then I need to go and grab a bit more water from this area down here 
and then what I can do is just place this in the item frame and then that's that bit all sorted. Oh no, I don't spin around, don't spin around. There we go. And then I'm going to fill all these up um, with carrots. So I'm just going to go and fill up one at a time. Just go one and then do, oh, if I move along two and then, oh, they're joining together. I don't want them to join. Oh, they bounce around. That's so funny. Oh, whoa, boingy, boingy carrots. I like this, right? If I just go remove them. We have to pretend that there's carrots in there. I'm sure that is fine for them and it's getting dark, but luckily I have a bed on me. So where should I sleep tonight? I'm going to sleep on top of the mud pile if I can. Is that possible? There we go. If I go and place that down. Come on, there we go. I've done it. Can I sleep yet? Yeah, perfect. Right, I can sleep now. And then in the morning, I think what we should do is start work on the town hall. Because the town hall is pretty much the most important place in the in the um, county places. So what I need to do is make this town hall look spectacular. And what I'm going to do to start with, um, I'm going to place down a few materials just as a base. Um, just to make it look really cool. So if I just go two across here. I love this part because I get to be just so imaginative with whatever I do. And it's just so much fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do um, and destroy this sign here. I need to grab my uh, my actual building tools <laughs> it'd be so much easier if I did that first um, but yeah what I'm gonna do now if I go and place down a floor because I'm what I might do is join these bits together with uh, fences and um, like the cobblestone fences just to make it look different and really cool and like awesome right what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place down some spruce planks if I just go like this and then leave a gap and then I can do a gap of two there and then a gap of two wait that makes no sense that makes no sense. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Deleting that. Um, if I just go like this. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And what I'm going to do then. I'm going to fill this all in with cobblestone. Because that's the material I have most of I guess. So there we go. That's all done. And what I need. Because it's a pig area. I need a lot of pink wool. And I've also got some pink stained glass as well. Because I haven't really used that yet. And I really want to use stained glass a bit more. Um, so look at that. That looks really cool. So I'm going to go and fill all this in with um, these uh, fences here. This looks pretty nice actually. I really like the look of using the um, the fences as like a wall. That looks pretty nice. Okay, right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and place down some stained glass just on the top of these. And it also makes a little effect on there as well, which looks really nice. Um, so if I just go and jump along here... I might as well do a few more here as well and um, just build those up here um, and what I want to do now is what do I have a lot of well I have a little bit of glowstone so what I might do is I place one here one here and then one at the back I think that looks okay I have a few bookshelves but I think pigs like to read I'm not too sure I have some of these as well some stone bricks so I might just go and put these in each four corners there and I have a few slabs on me so what I could do with these slabs is just go like one two three along the top there this is looking so cute I'm really really liking this Um, I want to get some like raw bits of wood as well I think I have some do I have some birch in here because I really want to use some but there we go I have quite a bit of birch so I want to use the birch just to place on the top as well because I just love the look of birch I think it's so cute so if I just go and place one here one here it can be like um like a pointy roof I guess so what I want to do now actually is get some um, some slabs, some half slabs. Um, I might use, let's use some spruce wood half slabs. I haven't really used those yet, so let's have a go. Um, so if I just go and make a few of these, there we go. Um, I've made 30, I'm sure that's enough. And what I'm gonna do with these, I'm just gonna place these all down on the top row here, because I just think that looks really, really cool. Uh, let's have a look at this color, see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna place down um, some torches, just on the roof, just like that, um, just so it looks cool. And uh, these are flying, but um, can I join those onto something? No, I'm, I'm not really keen on those. I just wanted to see what that looked like, but it doesn't look the best. So let's just go and remove all these. And I also need to remove this one. And then we can have, just have a quick look um, at what this all looks like as a town hall. Um, I think what it needs, it definitely needs something more on the roof just to build it up a little bit. Um, so what I might do is just if I use this hay just to get up onto the top, um, I might just go and place down some half slabs just like this and um, just place these all the way around here. Um, it's pretty much a big slab now, isn't it? It's not really um, half slabs anymore. Um, can I place one down there? Will it be flying? That will be flying. But that looks cool. Whoa, okay. That's pretty funky, actually. Um, I want to place some pink wool down. I don't have enough pink wool on this to make me happy. So if I just go and place one down here and one here, that should be enough. Enough. Do I use a pickaxe or an axe to get rid of um, hay? I don't think it matters really. Um, I think shears would probably be the best. But look at that! That is now the Trotter's Town Hall. Um, I'm going to put the sign about here. So it's the Trotter's Town 
Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm really slow at typing. I have to try and get things right. Um, and what I'm going to do inside here is every town hall needs a crafting table, obviously. Um, so you can go and do some work and stuff. There we go. If I go and place one down here like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is make a few fence gates. I, know, I think I have some. I think I have some in this chest over here. There we go. I do. I do have some more. So if I just go and place um, some down here. And I'm going to place another one down there as well. Um, just so it looks really cool. And um, also what I'm going to do. Because I have a few item frames left. I'm going to place an item frame in the middle. Oh, can I? Did I place that down in the middle? I know. I accidentally um, clicked something else. And then I'm going to put a carrot in the item frame there and um, then just leave it as that. And I need to put some bookshelves down as well. So I'm just going to put one down there. And I think that is it completed now. I think I'm done. There we go. Now I'm done. Um, yeah, sure. I'm done. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. But look at that. That looks really cool. We've actually made three things already in this episode. And what I want to do now is I want to start making a pig pod. And um, I think we can only do one of these now for this episode because we are running out of time um, slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the pig pod. I haven't planned this out, so let's go see how this goes. I like improvising with this. So if I just go and make um, a small little pod area here. Um, actually, no. We could just do... We can just do a few of these, can't we? Um, what I did with the sheep ones, I just made them in different colours, I think. I can't really remember. So let's just do two pig pods for now, um, because I think that's going to be enough. I'm going to place some leaves down on each one like this. I think that looks quite nice. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my stained glass and place one here, one here, and one here. Um, I'm going to do the same on this side, just so they can see outside. And um, pigs like grass and mud and stuff. So I'm going to leave the grass there because I just think it looks quite nice. Um, also, I'm going to place down the, the gates just here. These pods are really cute, actually. They're really quick to make. Um, right, the next thing I want to do is place down... Do I want bookshelves or do I want cobblestone? That's the question. I have quite a few materials, actually. Let's use some pink wool just for the, the edges like this because it is a pig pod, after all. And I think it just needs to have... Um, pink in it I guess so let's just go and place down some cobblestone on the roof and um, if I go like this maybe or what I could do is do one at the back as well and one at the front do you think that looks cool oh this is adorable I'd like to live here I have to admit I'd love to live in this place and um, what do I have on me then I have two carrots here, and uh, what I usually do is like place like signs around the area, um, using like a fence pole, and then use that. So I might save those item frames for now. Um, but what I might do now is if we try to um, grab a material that we want to build um, around the edges with. If I just go in the middle, maybe like this, then just like kind of just joins the pig pods together. And I want to go and grab some torches as well because it is a bit dark in there. Can I place them down on the glass? I don't think I can. <gasps> maybe I need glowstone. Okay, so I kind of need some glowstone for the top bit. So if I go and uh, make a hole just in the middle I think glowstone will be really useful thing is I think I've just run out of glowstone yep I have but it's okay because I'll remember to place that in um, out of episode but I really like the look of these and I'm, I'm also going to place down um, some torches just along here and do I have any signs I do so I'm going to label this one and uh, this can be pig pod one there we go and this is going to be pig pod too because pigs um don't like have night time and stuff they stay awake and um, but this is just if they want to have a little bit of a rest and i really like these what i want to do though i kind of want to decorate it a little bit more as soon as we have time i might as well if i just go through here and make a few trap doors and i know what you're thinking swishy you're crazy with trap doors and i love trap doors so much because i think they just look so so cool and like even ladders and stuff as well i just really like the look of it and that was a chest not a trap door what am i doing there we go um so let's just go and make a couple of trap doors doors here because I might put some on the town hall as well because I just think that looks so cool and um, I have some ladders as well if I go and make some of these um, just a few sticks there we go because I think this ladders look awesome as well there we go I have three there and um, I think I should just make a few more so if we just go and I count nine there that should be enough for six there we go um, and if I just go and place down these um, trap doors just around the place I think covering up the glowstone would look quite nice in the town hall and I might just put a few here as well just to kind of decorate it a little bit better oh look at them so cute very very cute and I'm gonna put a few on the the little pub area too Um, could I put one there and there there we go it's so adorable i have some ladders as well to use so i could just go and place down some ladders just around the outside of the the town hall 
just on this little area because I just love decorating. It's like my favorite thing to do in Minecraft. I love decorating so much. And look what we've done this episode. Okay, so we started the episode pretty quickly actually. So we managed to get so much done. So we got this beach done, which they're gonna love. They're gonna adore this beach. And then we got the food troughs kind of done. I need to make one more cauldron, but that's it. We got the pig pods done, both of them done, which I didn't think we were gonna do. And then we've done the town hall. So all in all, it's been a very, very productive episode. In the next episode, what we're gonna do is try and finish off this place. We're gonna make the curly tailors, the pigtails hairdressers, like the really fashionable buildings basically. And then we're gonna decorate the rest of it before we move in the pigs and I'm really really excited I can't believe we've almost done it it's really really cool so thank you for watching this episode of Feather Avengers and I will see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>